Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good afternoon everyone uh, I am Idayanti I want to try reading practice part 3 and I want to explain about my hometown Uh, I was born in a village near the seaside. His name was Kampung Laut. Because near the sea, that's why most residents walk as fishermen. And the most famous there is Kletek on or from Krakos. It is very nice and always met by travelers who come there my village is very beautiful because it is at the seaside and there are i the i place you always want to visit if there where as the village to be precise in the middle of the sea if the residing sea water will look like a beach, there is a long mound of sand. Mounds of sand. Some, somehow the story could be a middle of the sea, so but it only happening once, once a year. But in my will, I am from from i am front to fire maybe because there is or still many house made from woods so if there is a few sources of fire it will be very easily burned regardless of all that i love my village very much and try a friend to visit there i will definitely like that okay i am and move to reading practice the beginning with bang i'm not the world's biggest fan of bang i've had too many bad experience of them I really don't know how they can at first and say the look after you. They don't they don't beg chairs 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 or way to hate. You spend eggs you spend eggs waiting to be served and then they say no if you want a loan a loan. The bank I bank with makes dozen of mistakes with my account. The thing they are best at is making excess. I am not at all surprised so many banks did badly in the credit crisis. I hope they change. Bankers get far too much money. All they do is does work. Banks need to focus a lot more on real customer service at the moment bank only offer an access for customer service they don't even offer you a drink when you sit down and open an account in every station business business isn't to, isn't so good at the moment in fact it is the worst time for business for the cadets many business are going bust, be, bust because of the global financial crisis even some business like the car industry and electronics are going through 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 a really bad time many small business have gone up out 
of business. It is a real shame because so many lives are being drained. With a lot of business, it is a real fight for survival. I really respect people for trying to make a go of their business. I don't have much business sense. I would know where to start in opening my own business. I suppose the best thing would be, be to look at business startup, startup on the internet. An online business might be good. There seems to be less risk. Fully more. Uh, bush, busy. Are you busy? Do you lead a busy life? It seems we get bush busier and busier in our lives. I hate I hate being busy. I'd more rather have nothing to do. Being busy make it, makes me stress stress and I end up end up making mistake of forgetting something. Who's the busiest person you know? I bet he or she is really stressed. The busy people I know are always looking ahead to their next holiday. And then, in their holiday, they are busy doing other things. I think we busy ourselves with too many things. We need to learn to relax and take things slowly. Even at work, we have to look busy. Even if we're not, when the boss comes. We tell our friend, look busy. That's silly. It would be great if the word busy disappeared from the English language. Number four, calories. Do you ever think about or worry about the number of calories you eat and drink every day? is it's not really something is i took about when i was younger but now i have to think about my calorie intake i'm fat food i'm footing on weight weight and so needs to be more careful with what i eat this this is difficult because all of the yummies sorry this is difficult because all of the yummy food has the most calories i phone and answer to this problem if i do lots of exercise i can eat what what i want and not have to worry about calories I burn, I burn up 500 calories when I jog for an hour. This means I can have a pizza and dessert and not feel guilty. I wish there was more information about calories, calories in restaurant. I would make it easier for me to know what to eat. Carbon food fries. We have to do something about pollution. Even to, even took the our warnings about global warming. Company companies don't don't do anything to reduce pollution. Our sky, air, rivers, beaches, and countryside are becoming rubbish dumps. The the air is so polluted is is it giving children breathing problems polluted rivers have no fish left in the dam in them and beaches are too dangerous to walk on because of the garbage everywhere it seems a lot of people don't care i think 
there should be big fines for polluters. I don't mean fine more for things I they can be met with less pollution. The problem is that companies are most interested in profits than pollution. We have only just started looking at our carbon footprint. Number six, carries, carrier. Cushing a carrier is one of the biggest decision we make in life. It used to be be that we chose only one carrier. People would start a job when they were active. Ninety or 20 and stay in this in that same career for life their career fats was quite straight straight forward no way they, it is normal for people to change careers five six seven times now, new technology and globalization mean things change quickly we need to study and keep up with all the things i've had power i have i had four different careers now i like moving from one job to another it means life never gets boring it's much better to keep learning different things in different careers i have no idea what career I'll choose next, perhaps one that does, doesn't even exist today. Number 7. Cars Are you in the car, my brother? He is his, his car crazy. He buy car magazines, watches, car program on TV and spend hours looking at car websites. He know the name, make car, engine size, and the speed of a ferry car on the planet. Every time we go out, he talk non-stop about the car he sees. I like, I like cars. They are interesting. If I had a lot of money, I'd like to be to buy a sport car. I'm saving up for a small car at the moment. I'll probably buy a a hybrid car that is good for the environment. My brother thinks these are boring. He say a car should be powerful and fast. I don't agree. I think car should get you from A to B and be big enough for me and my friend. I also prefer smaller car because they are easier to find. Number 8. Cats I love cats because they are independent. They help us relax by letting us pet them. You can fly with them too, making them kiss a piece of string or a burn of light is very funny. Indeed, but I drawback of having a cat is that they can be too talkative. Talk -tick. My cat always meow when she want to eat and she tries to make us give her our food when we are eating especially when we are having fish for dinner on the other hand owning a cat his a cat has it is advantage advantage for example the cat mice and other small animals for cats 
catching and giving small animals to their owner is a sign of generously generosity. Sometimes my cat bring animals who are not dead into the house. I really don't like. I really don't like it when she does that. Number nine, chicken. Chicken are so important to many of us because they are a major part of our diet. Every country has so many chicken dishes, and eggs are one of the most common foods around. Chicken are also cute. Well, chicken aren't, but chick are cute, fluffy chick that make everyone go ah. It is strange too that the word chicken is used in so many English idiom. When I was at high school, you could chicken out to not do something because of being scared. Things are different today. I'm not spearing chicken. That mean I'm no longer young. So no one call me a chicken anymore. I want know as a teacher. I get chicken feed loads, but I like my job. I plan to return before I am 50, but I'm not going to con my chicken before they're hatched. This means I won't quit working until I have enough money. Children Children are angels. Most of the time, this true. I am very lucky because my two children really are the greatest angels. I think I won the children lottery with my kid. I could not have asked for lovelier, heavier, sweeter little children. They have broke me endless amount of joy signs the second they, they were born. Everything they do fascinates, fascinates me. Everything they say makes me smile. Watching them grow up in my greatest pleasure. In a way, it's a little sad. I always want them to stay the egg they are at now. When they were 80 months old, I took that was the cutter's egg. I took the some when they were two, and then three, and then four. I guess however all three they are. They are perfect. I wish all the children in the wood were as happy as me. Okay, enough for me. Uh, thank you.